Hello guys, what is up? Mr. Bones here and welcome to my favourite of Ultimate Team Trek. I've noticed in previous chapters that it's been quite long. This is chapter 9, so I thought I'd make it a special one and make it really quick. You ready? Let's go. So into match 25 when we find this team with a French all side. It looks pretty good, but it's actually called Bowser United, so, you know, it's probably not going to be that good. The first half was actually pretty boring right until the end of it, when he gets a corner and it just, like, you know, fumbles around in the box a bit, and it goes in. My thoughts of this moment were recorded live. <sighs> I'm slightly annoyed. So second half finally did come, and finally did go, and then Goofran again scores against me. However, I failed at recording the after stats. Fitness and contract. I buy three fitnesses, which is pretty cheap. I stick one on Marquisio, I stick one on DeSantis, and I stick one on Gomez. With the team now nice and fresh, we can go into match 26. This team was very strange, I've never seen it before, it was a full Swedish team. I went into this match not knowing what to expect. And I did not expect this. Yes, a perfect rebounded goal. Surprise, surprise. And that was after half time. You can imagine the first half, it was pretty boring. But straight from kickoff, I let him have no glory. And with Gomez, just go running around with his four star skills, doing his chops, doing his Maradona rolls. And he managed to pick off a few dribbles. I think that was through his legs as well. And then he just finished it into the top right corner to leave his goalkeeper wondering, why me? We kept on piling the pressure on in the second half, finally for his keeper to break in the 75th minute. Passes it to Vukinic from goal kick, and you know what Vukinic is going to do, always score them, and that was actually enough to post, that was really lucky. By the way, did you forget that I was rubbish at defending? Oh yes, I thought you did. He scores in the 87th minute to get the draw. The match now ends with me worrying, will he pick extra time with me? I click extra time only, and so does he. The match of extra time now begins. So when I go into extra time, I usually think to myself, I am not going to lose this, I am not, I am not, I do not go into extra time to mess around, this is me being serious now, and it only takes us five minutes for the chemistry to finally lighten up, and Melita does a wonderful chipping volley kind of thing there, and then a silly mistake from his defence, just before the second half of half time, he slides me, and I was like, get a red, get a red, get a red, and he gets a red, I'm happy now, I was like, yep, yeah. okay, that's good, and then I see Marquisio with the free kick, and the first free kick of this series, I'm happy with that, I'm not very good at free kicks, and that was a perfect goal. We're racking in the coins now, over 800 in that match, and you can see the stats doubled up on everything that he did. So after that match, I was surprised that no one had been injured and fitness and contracts were perfectly fine, so I'd go straight to the next match, and you can see that he's got a full Brazilian team, apart from the centre-back, who is Korean, and Luis Fabiano up front. It only takes us 6 minutes for Melito to feed himself through and just smash it into the right bottom corner. And a few minutes later, Roberto Carlos comes and just smashes that into the left corner. And you'll see that Roberto Carlos is the right beast against me this match. But you see Gomez here um, in the 30th minute, doing his skills, feeds through to Deveo, who crosses it in for Melito to just smash it in with a header. And then for the rest of the game, it was pretty inactive. Apart from in the last um, few dying minutes, Deveo picks up a, just a finesse, and then he decides to rage on me. So it wasn't that bad because it was in the 87th minute, but I was a bit scared that we wouldn't get the win or loss, so... I'm surprised that we did get the win, and you can see the over 800 coins from that. And then I thought we'd go by in stadium and just get the cheapest one, 250 coins, morale plus 8. I couldn't really care less about the stadium, just wanted morale plus 8. And so on to match 28, and you can see that he has a uh, Premier League team, pretty rubbish, you know, apart from Lukaku up front. This guy is strong, he's 18, and he's quick. I was scared about this. But early in the game, we get lucky with Deveo just like stealing the ball off him, and then... Smashing it in, and then Lukaku, as I said, smashes it in. Close, but, you know, he's B, so I'm not surprised. Then Deveo again, dribbles, Maradona rolls, and then I'm surprised with this finish there. As he cannonballs it into the left-hand corner there. Very surprised by that, but then Lukaku comes on the other side, and does his skill, and then smashes it into the top right-hand corner. And so the match ends as a draw at 2-2. I really wanted to do it just time, as you can see, but he's like, no, 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 I want to do a match as a draw. So we barely picked up any coins from that with a draw. And on to our last transfer of the chapter now. And I'm looking for a centre mid and I find Montalivo, contract 30, 433, really good centre mid for our team. And last but not least, we just finish off with buying some fitness contracts because we're down on fitness and contracts. So I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of the Ultimate Trek. I may do these more often, but I really did enjoy doing this one. So if you enjoyed, can you like and maybe follow me on Twitter as always. Thank you. Goodbye.